Hello. So it's another glorious day the Lord has made here in Frankfurt. And uh, I'm here at a park and just enjoying the weather, enjoying being outside. And we are going to do some push-ups today. I'm filming a push-up tutorial just to show the, just really the foundational proper form of a push-up. People, we've seen it a million times. There's been a million videos of it, but I'm going to explain it my way. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, be able to receive some value from that. But before we move into the uh, exercise part of the video or the exercise segment, uh, I want to go ahead and share the quote of the day. So Mark Batterson says that if we live for people's compliments, we will die by their criticisms. So let's give that some thought as we go through the tutorial as far as the exercise and then at the end uh, we'll we'll do a little bit of a deep dive into that quote for a, a minute or so just kind of talk about it a little bit and um, I'll share my thoughts about it and we'll go from there so now let's do a push-up let's do a proper push-up so we're gonna start when you put your hands down on the on the ground I want them shoulder width apart your fingers splayed out, spread out. So your hands are going to be shoulder width apart. I want your elbows positioned. I don't want them out here. They don't have to be right against your side, but I want them about 45 degree angle from your rib cage. So in this area here. Okay, I want you to keep your core tight. And when I say core, I mean posterior. I'm sorry, I mean anterior and posterior. So a lot of time we say core, people believe we're just talking about abs, but we're really talking about just your whole middle. So we want to keep it tight, but you're going to breathe. You're going to be in the in a, a position where it's it's locked in, but you're still breathing and you're still you're still functioning. So core tight. Your neck is in a neutral position where your head is going to be facing the ground. And as I say, hands shoulder width apart. Feet are going to be close together. Okay. And then we're just going to do it and do some good push-ups. So here we go. And when I say core tight, what I mean is I don't want you swagging your back, letting it sway in. I don't want your butt up in the air. We're going to be where you're pretty much in a straight line from your heels to your shoulders. And then we're going to come down and up. You exhale on the up. And I want you to go all the way down where your chest is almost touching, where your chin is almost touching. And then all the way to the top. So that's your good push-up form. And as far as, as I say, all the way down, all the way up, uh, we want the full range of motion. So many people do push-ups. Partials are okay for certain things if you're training them on purpose. But if we're doing a push-up and we want proper form, we don't want to be doing this. And we don't want to be doing this at the bottom. We want the full range of motion. So that right there is your good, proper push-up form and so we'll move on uh, to talking about the quote would appreciate it if you showed the like button some love and uh, subscribe to the channel because the more subscribers I have the more um, people the video will be presented to the more uh, people the video will reach uh, so now I want to get into the um, the segment of the video that I believe that sets me apart possibly from other channels want to talk about the quote of the day uh, I'm always going to have a quote of the day or a thought of the day and today's quote was from Mark Batterson and he said that if we live for other people's compliments we will die by their criticisms and that is a very strong thought or a very uh, poignant um, thing to think about with regards to if we're trying to find our identity or our value 
uh, in other people, what they think about us, what they say. Uh, we're never going to to be able to hold a value of any kind because there's always going to be people that don't like what we're doing, don't like what we're saying, don't like how we look, whatever it may be. So for me, um, it's so important for me to find my value in the Lord um, through Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Uh, he died for me, and that gives me a value that... Uh, it's just it's a remarkable value and it's not a value that that I can receive from any other human being or, or anything so for me my value in the Lord and my identity in the Lord is um, something that definitely keeps me grounded um, it gives me peace uh, it gives me joy helps me when I'm struggling and it, it kind of keeps me on the right plane when I'm in a, in a good happy place as well so it, it just levels me out balances me and uh, so much more uh, stable and, and a, a firm foundation so to speak uh, much more so than than other people uh, other people will let you down they'll possibly say one thing to your face and be another way somewhere else however that may be and that's not for me to to be talking bad about people uh, I just um, for me, it's just identity in the Lord, and um, that way I'm not so, it's not an up and down um, daily battle to, to please other people and to please man. So with that, I uh, hope you received something from that. Love to hear your thoughts on the quote. Uh, so uh, in the comments, I'd, I'd love you to leave comments and let me know what you thought. Um, hope you received something from the exercise segment of the video as well. So, God bless you all, and remember you are fearfully and wonderfully made.